As Tennessee high school football fans, we all know about tradition. At Rice Buick GMC, that's no different. Rice has been family owned and operated right here in Knoxville since 1957. I'm Eric Ainge, and Rice Buick GMC is the only choice for this old Tennessee quarterback. Rice has a lot of options, like the GMC Sierra, GMC Yukon, the GMC Acadia. They have the Buick Enclave, the Buick Lacrosse, and so much more. Go to ricegmc.com to check out all their daily updated specials. Make the smart choice. Buy from Rice. Bringing you the latest in UT sports in living color. It's RTI TV. Welcome in, RTI TV, coming to you from the Rice Buick GMC studios. We'd like to go ahead and thank Rice Buick GMC for making this video possible. I'm Houston Cress. He's Daniel Lewis. We're going to be breaking down a couple plays from Tennessee's 52-21 win over Kentucky over the weekend. Daniel, I'll give you the honors first. Why don't you start us off? Tennessee able to run for 249 yards on the ground. I want to show you how they were able to do that. And amazingly, they were able to do it with actually the same play twice producing big results. What's really interesting about this first play, a 28 yard touchdown for Joshua Dobbs, you have two guards pulling, but they're pulling in the opposite direction. That kind of messes with the reads of the linebackers. You have a good block from the tackle on both sides. You have the tight end down blocking, uh, and then a good block from the center, Coleman Thomas as well. Here, Joshua Dobbs is reading the weak side linebacker. He follows the fake here. They get the pull around to the left side. Dobbs gets to the edge. Dobbs does what he does, makes some guys miss. Great blocking by Joshua Smith down the field as well to finish it off. Great run by Josh Dobbs. Well-designed play. So well-designed, in fact, that they decide to do it again near the end of the first half when they're looking for points. Same thing, Joshua Dobbs makes a different read this time. He reads that weak side linebacker again. This time, his cue is to give it to Alvin Kamara. Kamara shows his speed. That linebacker that was red initially, not able to recover. Kamara gets to the sideline, good blocking again. It's kind of messing with the reads of the Kentucky linebackers. I think it's a really good play call by Mike DeBoard overall. These runs help give Tennessee a lead. Now Houston's gonna show how Tennessee's able to build on that lead in the second half. Yeah, Daniel, you focused on a couple of blocks by Tennessee's offensive linemen on your plays. I wanna do the same thing on mine. Tennessee's in third and seven, and Tennessee has the absolute perfect play called a screen to Jalen Hurd. Watch center Coleman Thomas at the snap. He engages his man for just a second, and then he's peeling around to the right side, and he's going to come back and take out two Kentucky defenders on an absolute melee block to spring Jalen Hurd past the line of scrimmage. Two linemen downfield. They don't even really have anybody to block because Kentucky's already back the line and blitz. Vaughn Pearson down the field, securing his man. Jalen Hurd cuts back. Another really great block right there by Josh Smith and Jalen Hurd able to outrun the Kentucky secondary for a touchdown. That's not supposed to happen in the SEC, but Daniel, when you have Jalen Hurd, he just makes it look so easy. And speaking of making things look easy, let's go to the defensive side of the ball where Derek Barnett's really rounding into form a little bit. I think what stands out to me the most is his first step here, the way he's able to get off the ball. That's something he's been struggling with at times this year. He did a lot of that his freshman year, but not as much this year. Barnett then able to get around the edge, Toll steps up, but it's too late at that point. Barnett drags him down from behind, gets the big sack. He's had at least one sack in the last three games now. I think he's rounding into form more and more. Yeah, Daniel, and another player who's starting to pick it up as we enter the home stretch of the season is Josh Malone. Uh, I want to highlight a play he had in the first half. You got Vaughn Pearson on the jet sweep. They fake the handoff to Jalen Hurd. Jalen Hurd then does a great job in the backfield of picking up his pass block assignment. Joshua Dobbs drops back. It looks like he's going to get sacked on this play. Steps up into the meat of the pocket and delivers an absolute bomb. Everyone's been asking for the vertical shot. They finally connect on one here to Josh Malone. A lot of big plays for Tennessee in this one. It's always a little bit easier to break these games down after a win. I uh, want to thank Rice Buick GMC again for making this video possible, and thank all you guys for watching RTI TV. We'll see you next time.